Over the past year of running this channel, I've accumulated a fair number of coffee making systems, and I'm about to have the rest of the Breville lineup knocking at my door any time now. So before that happens, I thought I'd take this opportunity to run through my current machines, talk about which ones I actually use day to day, and why I bought each one. As always, I'll have each of these systems linked down in the description below if you want to check any of them out. The Barista Express. This very machine started it all. This was my first personal espresso machine, and I've had it for well over five years now. Still, to this day, I stand by the fact that this is one of the best value for money entry-level espresso machines on the market today, even though it was released well over 10 years ago. It doesn't see much use anymore, but we'll never get rid of it. Because like I said, it was the machine that started this whole channel, and for that reason, it holds a lot of sentimental value. The Apartamento. For those of you who follow along with the Lifestyle Lab Instagram, you know that I bought this machine on the same day I bought the Breville Dua Boiler. Why? Because I wanted to branch out and find the best upgrade machine from the Barista Express. The Apartamento fit the bill because it was still a compact form factor, but provided a host of benefits over the Express including a 58mm portafilter, E61 group head, true prosumer level steaming power, and darn good looks to top it all off. Unlike the Barista Express, this machine does see regular use, and it's one of the two machines that inhabits my kitchen at all times. For a long time, it was the machine I used whenever I was not in a rush to make coffee. If I had time to sit and enjoy the espresso making process, this was the go-to machine, as it made the best shot out of my lineup and it is quite simply a pleasure to use. Recently, however, that place has been taken up by the Flare 2 Pro. It definitely needs a good amount of time to get preheated and to be properly cleaned afterwards, but the quality of the espresso and the experience of pulling a shot on this is simply unmatched, even by the likes of the Apartamento. I've come to discover that lever systems seem to have a certain special sauce that results in spectacular flavors and depth when used correctly. Every morning, when I don't have all the time in the world to play with coffee, the machine of choice is the Breville Oracle. It turns on 30 minutes before I wake up each morning, so it's piping hot by the time I'm ready to brew. It has space under the spouts for larger cups, unlike the Apartamento, and it can make a latte or Americano pretty much on its own, without me even paying attention to what's going on on the machine. The automated grinding, tamping, brewing, steaming, and even water dispensing truly are a godsend to a busy morning routine. Like I've said many times before, I thought the Oracle wouldn't be sticking around the lab for very long. And yet, here it is, making at least four cups of coffee every day. This brings me to the dual boiler. Like I mentioned, I bought the dual boiler on the same day as the Apartamento, in an attempt to find a good next step up machine from the Barista Express. But it hasn't really gotten a whole lot of use since arriving. It doesn't have the same convenience factor as the Oracle, and while it does make slightly better coffee, so does the Apartamento, and that's way more enjoyable to use. This has resulted in the dual boiler somewhat falling through the cracks between being a convenient consumer level machine and a more serious and high quality prosumer level unit. Quickly touching on non-espresso items, we have a metal pour over cone and this neat little cold brew maker from Osobu. Quite honestly, neither of these really see the light of day very often, except for the cold brew maker during the hot summer months. And for now, that's really it. Like I mentioned, we have lots of exciting products from Breville, Kruv, Bellow, Coffee Jack, and many more coming down the pipeline. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out, and we'll see how different this collection looks in a few months time.